Experimentation of hydraulic engineering has its origin in the heart of TU Dresden. After 120 years of laboratory research, the founding stone for the new experimental hall was laid on the campus. Four o'clock in the morning at TU Dresden. The large steel framework for the new high-performance morphologically flume of the Institute of Hydraulic Engineering and Technical Hydrodynamics is eagerly awaited. It will be a core part of the Hubert Engels Laboratory, one of the largest laboratories at the TU Dresden. The 4 meter wide and 40 meter long flume is equipped with high performance pumps that allow a flow rate of up to 1000 liter per second. This allows large scale experiments with 3D flows and sediment transport processes. For such physical model experiments, we reproduced scaled hydraulic systems, including its surrounding environment. And with scaled assessment flow rate, we can carry out a performance check of complex systems and then take it as a basis to design the assessment in reality. Infrastructures and features of the facility are also suitable for constructing and deconstructing of large-scale experiments and their equipment with the measuring instruments. Huge weights can be lifted off their destination and precisely installed using the Freeton indoor crane. The laboratory floor is designed for the use of large machines and for heavy loads. High-performance pump systems supply the hydrodynamic models with the required water discharge. Here we have excellent opportunities to investigate hydraulic engineering problems on a small scale, which often occur outside on a large scale. In other words, we take issues from nature regarding buildings and river currents, reduce them to scale followed by scaled models. We know the laws with which we need to recalculate our results in order to get the corresponding values for the water levels, flow rates and pressures in nature. Thus, here especially large investigations are possible on a small scale with high precision and repeatability. The practical and innovative implementation of scientific issues is linked closely to experienced stuff of laboratory. Saxon ingenuity and profound knowledge of material processing, such as working on machines for milling and profiling, are as essential for a vital laboratory operation as an eye for detail and manufacture of measuring instruments. For that reason, a broadly based mechanical and electrical workshop is integrated in the laboratory complex. This way, fine digital 3D models can also be produced with the CNC milling machine. This means that a planner can understand the design situation and we can observe if the computed variables materialize. For this purpose, we carried out numerical simulations beforehand. That means we created a three-dimensional hydrodynamic numerical model and simulated the design situation on the computer. The results are checked here. Therefore, the investigations we carried out here support the planning process. We need three to four months until we can confirm or reject a planet version. However, with us, a constructively optimized alternative can be found, which can then be implemented in the further planning. A small hydrological feature of this complex is the spatial spilling basin. In the planning process, it was specified to build the spilling basin on the base area and to carry out the energy conversion there in order to protect the lower course from bad erosion and scoring. So that a spatial spilling basin with two standing rollers was chosen. An example of the so-called fruit model 
of a river section in Thuringia with surrounding fields and weir was built here on a scale of 1 to 15. The main stream is marked in blue. In the event of a flute, the inflow is blocked by the weir structure at the river bend to protect the town. The residual flow is then to be diverted around the village via a flood channel. We examine different weir geometries and different locations. The test rigs in the laboratory can still be used for numerous student projects, such as physical experiments on driftwood. In addition to compulsory work, it is also possible to work as a student assistant while studying. During research, the students can record readings and assist with the experiment setup and deconstruction. Furthermore, topics for thesis can be explored and many useful manual skills can be learned. There are two opposing questions on many rivers. On the one hand, we want to improve the ecological status of the rivers, but on the other hand, we do not want to exacerbate the flooding situations on the rivers. In this model experiment, we are investigating how we can structurally improve the riverbed by the targeted use of riparian vegetation in such a way that aquatic organisms will find better living conditions here. We place this riparian vegetation in such a way that we achieve an optimal structural improvement of the riverbed, but on the other hand do not receive an unacceptable increase of water level. For this reason, many individual studies are carried out here, including with vegetation. You can also see here in a model design where we change the roughness or vegetation density, varying the position and evaluate the effects on the riverbed and high water level. The laboratory hosts sometimes study participants who are to test a fish-friendly weir, a turbine for power generation for their peers in freedom. In order to guarantee the fish the necessary living conditions, we worked closely with the fish biologists from the city of Jena. What is special about the project is to bring together hydraulic model tests, hydraulic modeling and ethohydraulic and compare results. Here, in the hydraulic engineering facility, we have the chance to actually reproduce what happens in nature. With the help of numerical simulations, flow characteristics can be comprehensively analyzed in advance. To take all fish sizes into account, a one-to-one -one model setup is required in the laboratory. Using a numerical free DHN calculation, critical flow velocities for the fish can be predicted and possibly avoided. The simulation also results in hydraulic parameters by recording real measurement values as boundary conditions in the model. The fish should swim through the test channel, just like in nature, and then pass the fish-friendly weir or the turbine accordingly. But one must then also observe the fish, whether they accept it, whether they pass the turbine as in nature. And then, with the help of camera systems and antennas, it is monitored where to do the fish swim. It means whether they want to, whether they adapt their behavior, and whether they can pass the facility unharmed. The elements earth and water meet in a large-scale test facility for sealing dikes and dams. A technical scale section of the dam will be constructed here, where a fluid load can be simulated and recorded. This model is used to test injection processes in order to seal, stabilize and protect damaged areas in dams from failure. 
acrylic gel is pressed into the ground, which hardens to form a stable and waterproof ceiling wall. In order to check the success of the injections, they are geophysically examined, then exposed finally photometrically measured. Drill samples are also taken, which are tested for soil mechanical parameters in cooperation with the Institute of Geotechnical Engineering. The physical models of the oldest river engineering laboratory in the world have been integrated into the new building since 2015. They can be visited during the Dresden Long Night of Sciences, an open door event at the TU Dresden. Some facilities, such as the historic tilting flume based on designs of Hubert Engels, are still available to students for teaching internships. Our core task, scientific consultant and service provider for public and private developers on all issues concerning hydraulic engineering. We are as well a competent and efficient partner for the industry. We, civil engineers, are committed to the sustainable and good ecological development of our environment. In other words, construction in general, and especially in and around water, will be much more oriented towards this development and the challenges posed by climate change in the future. Perhaps civil engineering and the specialization of hydraulic engineering is something for you too. Oh.